Ice, ice, icicles. Spec, spec, spectacles. Test, test, test one, two, three. All good. Economic sentiment is just as important as the economy. Positive sentiment and a strong economy have a symbiotic relationship. Consumers account for about 60% of the economy. If they are happy and have a fistful of dollars, they spend. On the contrary, if sentiment is weak, if the economy is slowing, people are less likely to spend, ultimately slowing the economy even further. Pessimism and a weak economy are a parasitic pact of mutual destruction. So how does Australia consumer sentiment hold up? Not very good by the looks of it. Recent confidence surveys by NAB and Westpac show that although business confidence in Orange seems to be rising, which in itself is strange considering that actual business conditions are at their lowest level in six years, consumer confidence in Green is tracking downwards. The higher the number, the more optimistic we are. At the moment, we're just not that optimistic. Sean Cousins, a retail analyst at JP Morgan, spoke of the recent retail outlook and the housing market. He said, Looking forward, the outlook for Australian retail is mixed. The consumer is heavily indebted and there are rising cost of living pressures. House prices have fallen in some cities, notably Sydney, yet the bottoming of the housing market is arguably closer now, while household assets have increased faster than household debt and consumers are generally ahead of their mortgage repayments. Jobs are also a concern. ANZ economist Catherine Birch spoke of weakening job ads and vacancies. She said, Although vacancies had held up against falling ANZ job ads for some time, this decline in vacancies, along with other leading labour market indicators, suggests an imminent slowdown in employment growth. The recent rise in the unemployment rate has come despite an acceleration in employment growth, so weaker jobs growth is a concern. Obviously, without jobs, people can't spend. If people don't spend, the economy falters. Other countries aren't faring so well either. Germany has had a tough week. Chief economist at ING Germany spoke of the effect of consumer sentiment on the economy. He said, Devastating new orders data just undermined any hopes for an industrial rebound. We are starting to lose our optimism. Combined with the weakest June performance of the labour market since 2002 and disappointing retail sales, today's new orders wrap up a week to forget for the German economy. The fear factor is back. Optimism is important. People tend to spend when they are optimistic. But the opposite is also true. If people are pessimistic, then the economy tends to be sluggish, which in turn brings about more pessimism, hurting the economy even more. Jobs, economy, consumer sentiment, it's all intertwined in a tangled mess. The Westpac Melbourne Institute Consumer Sentiment Survey will be released this week on Wednesday. Hopefully it will show that Australians are regaining their confidence. Time will tell.